everybody welcome to our new video today we're going to learn something new like we're going to uh, show you how to fix this problem when you say your Android SDK is missing out out of date or corrupted how do you fix that first of all uh, we're gonna go to Android we try to open it like um uh, then we see the error before we see what to do so we're gonna look into terminal and we come in and it says sudo let's be sudo uh, so and I'll go in here and we can recall some commands like uh, I will say cd2 we wanna cd2 wanna cd2 document then we list then we cd2 android android then we list then we cd2 android studio the cd2 uh, we're looking for that folder called android studio okay we did a cd we did cd to this we cd to android we okay that that we're gonna cd to bin and cd to bin then after that we're gonna list ls then uh, we list after listing we're gonna get this when we try to start our Android which is gonna say dot tip fat slash then we paste that file android.sh okay the pop-up is here uh, once we here uh, we can see something like this uh, then when we try to open a new project let's see we try to open a new project we get a pop-up which tells us your SDK is uh, out of date okay what we do one of the first step we're gonna do we're gonna delete or remove projects folder right okay where do we find that um, we're gonna come let me exit this once we exit that is fine so we're gonna go to uh, home you can see the Android project folder this folder I'm using Linux anyway uh, Ubuntu then we say move to trash once you have done that step to run the Android studio and see the welcome started okay we're gonna rerun that android studio uh, we're gonna recall the last one this is what we see okay run that okay after that what do you do we're gonna see that and then what you say when we see this thing we go to configure then project then default then project structure right uh, we see configure configure where do we find configure uh, we should go to configure project default let's do here mm, double shift whatever whatever okay okay add configuration you get me then we need to look for configure first if I say configuration what do we see there project default so we need to find project default here if we can't see it we can st still click here and if we don't find that we can go and say file open new project import project project whatever and you know these things change edit configuration file which we don't want um, when I see something like configure edit find okay, let me see if we can see that quickly our uh, tools configure we're looking for configure quickly okay configure. it would be we can see structure okay let me let me get it here right configuration file let me see it's gonna it's gonna give me some prompts let me configure that first let me get the bit the, that button first quicker then we we'll proceed right okay well guys we didn't find that uh, button but it's okay we find somewhere else to do the same thing uh, we're gonna skip one thing don't worry you click on here uh, file then you go to project structure when you're there under this go to platform settings then you click SDK right so once you're there then this is one of the goods then select Android SDK right click on delete you get me android sdk then you're gonna right click on what 
uh, I see global var whatever um, Android SDK right click on and delete you get me so we got to delete that let's see what we have we're gonna delete that which means this is what we're going to delete so once we delete this guy we've deleted that guy right so once you delete it uh, then you can say uh, we have to get new a new SDK right so which means we have to click here add new SDK right so I think we should delete all of these because these are the SDKs we have 18 point whatever this point whatever point whatever so I'm gonna delete everything here okay I'm gonna delete everything everything 1.8 1.8 1.8 all of these ones we we do them so we're gonna do what we're gonna do what they call we're gonna choose the new Android new Android what SDK so we're gonna add a new SDK and then we're gonna say okay so we're gonna say add new what we say we're gonna say Android SDK add new Android SDK okay okay once we're done you need to configure the Java SDK first you say okay and say root let's look and we leave it in root let me see what's gonna be the Android SDK okay let's say okay directory is not a valid home for SDK yeah, so we need to get something better here uh, let's do it home we see what's gonna happen okay also that they don't like it uh, let's go here back I'm gonna go back to add SDK it's gonna be Java mm -hmm. right you need to configure Java SDK first okay what do we need here let's see yeah JDK what did it say it says you need SDK is true why okay Let's see, can we find Java? Where do we get Java snap or whatever? Okay. Okay, we need to find where Java SDK should sit for now. You get me? So after that then we're gonna we're gonna do what there's something I did here I'm gonna show you. Uh first of all I, I needed to do something before proceeding. Uh I clicked on libraries so it won't give me any chance. Uh, that's why you can see it's downloading something so I'm gonna show you how I've done that then we're gonna proceed to our SDK understand so let's wait for it to download everything um, guys let's do this uh, some of those things could not work well but let's try this click on that then go project structure and uh, you can see SDKs and stuff okay leave that alone uh, there's something we want to do we want to go to uh, project structure let me see manage IDE let's go to settings uh, tools whatever um, no 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 setting repository and stuff let me let us there's some way I have to click um, project structure no project associated with this SDK global SDK you can see we have this and this and that and that okay let's try to see this and we see if that could work for us and we send new project we still see that okay right <coughs> there's something which is running away from my head I did file project file structure settings um, reload all from SDK I see that manage IDE new project set yes here it says default structure okay uh, when it's here you can give it you can give it SDK you can give where you want the SDK to see it right uh, on the root let's try to see if it can see it here somewhere here uh, maybe root let's, let's leave it in root let's see if it's gonna fetch it there let me see root please root on that root let's cancel here we're just gonna put just the name say SDK and uh, okay so wow 
crazy this is crazy SDK location we're gonna say SDK okay after that we okay we say Android location this location will be used for new projects and uh, existing projects that do not have a local uh, properties few whatever whatever okay Let's see don't scroll there okay once you're there done with that then you say apply once we apply SDK location cannot be at the file system root okay that's good uh, let's try and find somewhere here on users okay and be in libraries or we can put it in libraries I think here Lab. Okay. let's find a very very convenient place where we can find stuff quickly uh, I've seen somewhere we I think we have to look for a, a place which we can I'm saying place which can be fine for everything go back um, we find something it can't be on the road they say no 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 uh, this can't be in root android let's put it android okay sdk that's where we're gonna put that and we say okay then we say apply after applying we're gonna say okay okay after doing that let's try to create a new project right wow we done guys that was one of one of our 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 major problems so we done with that wow it was crazy do what we've done i think you've seen just rewind the video it was giving me some issue also because some problems were coming up so if we can create now try to create a new application it's gonna work we can look for uh something new we click here no activity we click that and we say application we're gonna make it uh business in the box bi or we can call it client review cr okay or we say client client review or business in the box box right uh, business in the box business in the box right well that's fine after that we say finish we don't want to see any problems yeah uh, this is super good we done with that we can't see anything anymore uh, please wait until the installation is done or oh, that is 140 seven megabytes so we won't wait for that but everything's fine we changed the folder and uh, our sdk worked nicely you see now we just now we're gonna just download these few stuff then we're done we're gonna click finish then we start our project guys thanks for watching if this uh, was uh, great for you and uh, i'm sorry for wasting a lot of time but we, by the end of the day we got what we wanted uh, rewind the video see what we've done then you do what we've done and i'm sorry for taking more time please if it was nice for you please if it solved the problem so please uh do leave the comment in the comment box below sorry for spending a lot of time and uh, we encourage you to please subscribe on our channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to click that bell button thanks see you in the next video